Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video we are going to look at how to calculate the harmonic mean of a set of values using the harmean function of Excel. So on screen at the moment I have a pretend set of values which I'm imagining are attendances of maybe some kind of conference or some kind of event. And I've also created this column chart on the right hand side just to better present what this example is all about. And that is the fact that in cell D3 I could happily calculate the arithmetic mean by using the average function which is what I'm doing on screen right now but as is better displayed in the column chart rather than the set of values on the left we have a extreme outlier that being the sixth one there number 86 and that will kind of weight the average and give us a misleading figure of 39.25 now what the harm mean function will do is calculate the harmonic mean and that type of mean can be used in examples like this where you have extreme outliers that will distort the result and by using the harmonic mean it will provide or it will show less significance to the outlying values therefore giving you a more accurate uh, picture of your data and the harmean function the great news is it's written exactly the same as the arithmetic mean uh, we just call it harmean short for harmonic mean and you can see it asks the exact same questions which is where are your numbers and we give it the exact same response uh, which for me right now is a2 to a9 and a result comes out let's tidy them decimals up or those decimals up as 32.64 so it's providing less significance to that large outlier. It's not ignored it, it is using it, but less significance to it, giving us a more accurate average than your classic arithmetic mean. So to recap, the harmonic mean is used in examples where you have extreme outliers, like this one here, which is pretty much double, or it is, it's over double, or pretty much double the the size of the biggest other attendance, the second biggest attendance. And I've managed to provide less significance to that number because of the way it distorts my values. Uh, creating a chart of your set of values is a great way of spotting outliers that you might not otherwise realize are there and seeing them in comparison to the others, like I've done in this example. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel. And check us out at computergaga.com.